in this video I'm gonna be telling you guys how I use machine inside of logic I received a lot of questions about it so that's exactly what this video is gonna be about and I'm gonna tell you guys right here right now that that is not what I'm doing I know how to do it I've done it and I saved it as a template so I could always go back to doing it that way but what works best for me is what's up everybody this is DDS and if you have seen my previous video on this logic series where I told you guys why I'm enjoying using logic and machine together then you already know I kind of covered this topic a little bit I'm gonna go in a little bit more detail right now when I mentioned that I'm using logic and machine a lot of people are asking me how do I route machine inside of logic and how do I do how am I even just running it inside of logic and that's what I'm going to talk about right now so as you see on the screen here I have logic pro open and I have a, a little what is this a track that's titled machine now this is a template that I made and templates save a lot of time so for me when I open up logic this is exactly what opens up it's already ready to go I already have machine loaded so if I'm gonna start a beat using my drums I already have it ready to go and even if I want to start it using something else I already have my drums set and ready to go so for this video like I said we're just talking about routing and all of that stuff and how I just found the perfect workflow for me when it comes to using machine and logic now this may not be the best for you but this is what works best for me so you could try it see if it works for you if it doesn't figure out something that works for you it's what it's all about at the end of the day so first things first I want to let you guys know that now that I am doing this I do not route machine sounds to my mixer I don't do that at all I know some people want to know how to do it I do have a video I'll put a link to it in the description below where you guys can go check that out because I did that like a year ago and then make sure when you do that save that as a template because it will save you time from having to do it every single time so that's a gem right there make sure you save it as a template and if you don't know how to save as a template you just go right here go to save as template boom and it'll load up and then like if you ever want to start something hit new from template pull that up and you'll be good to go I have that saved as a template as well but what I found to work better for me as someone who made beats only in machine for so long generally when I made my beats inside of machine I would make the beat export it mix it in logic I'm done with it that's all I would do so I kind of take the same approach what I'm using machine for inside of logic I'm using it for my drums some sound effects transitions placing things where I want to place them and that's pretty much it at that point I do arrange it in uh, inside of machine but then I drag and drop it inside of logic via exporting not this stuff so like say I have a whole beat lined up here I could just show you guys real quick so here's a drum group that I made I saved it has patterns already saved on it so right here that'll be my intro this will be my verse not my verse my uh hook then I'll go first part of the verse and the second part of the verse and I was gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna append it real quick just so you guys can see and I can break it down real quick append 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 hit this okay boom now we're in a linear mode which is kind of similar to logic so even down to like the bars that it's on like you can kind of figure it out like that like the one through five one through five right there so basically what i do is i build the drums up inside of machine and then i go over here i hit export export audio and then from there i just pick my folder where I keep all my stems and stuff and I just export it there I make sure that the name matches the beat that I saved under logic and then just drag and drop it in and then from there I shut this off I completely power off the machine and then I will mix it like that I don't want to mix it through the you know channel and stuff like that while I'm making the beat but again this is the workflow that works best for me so you guys have to figure out what works best for you like I said if you want to know how to route it I have a video on that link will be in the description but for me it's just I guess since I had a template I could easily do it but for me it's just my workflow is just better to export it so that is how I am using machine inside of um, logic like I'm not doing any routing or anything like that I open it up as a VST if you want to see how to do that you just click here drop down menu native instruments and then right there oops right there you open up machine and boom it'll open up once you hit create so I'm not routing it not doing any of the I don't even want to call it difficult stuff it's kind of tedious when you first do it but this is just what works 
good for me hopefully you guys don't think i'm rambling but let me know what you guys think in the comments below this is my logic series i will have tons and tons of videos using logic that's all i'm using these days and let me know what you want to see coming up like let me know any ideas i appreciate you all tuning in and if you are not subscribed please subscribe and uh yeah let me know what you think i appreciate you all hopefully you all have a wonderful day take care if you need help using machine i have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled how i use machine i cover everything from how i started beat to finishing the beat the link is in the description below so if you need help with machine go check that out hopefully you enjoy the video